look you guys i have not made a video in about four months so welcome back to my channel in this video i want to talk about something that in the past i told you i wanted to touch base with you on and that's about how i spent one amazing month as an au pair in Palma de Mallorca, Spain this past summer. So if you're interested in learning about how I was able to have that opportunity, please stay tuned. As I mentioned in a past video, I was in au pair, which is basically like a babysitter slash English teacher or English tutor for a family in a foreign country where my language, English, is not the main language. So I uh, was an au pair for two children. There was an eight-year-old son and a 12-year-old daughter, and they both had pretty good English abilities. So I went to oldpairworld.com, and I'll have that link in the description box. And it's basically like a dating website, you guys. So you make a profile, you put some pictures up, and you talk about exactly what type of experience you want, where you wanna live, um, the number of kids you would like to au pair for, the age you want the kids to be or what age you're used to working with and what goals you really want to accomplish while you're there. You also list your past experiences with children and you mention exactly when you want to come to the country and for how long you're willing to come. And so for me, it was like four to six weeks. That was all I was really willing to, uh, to do. You know, that's what I had time for. So I, look for other families that also didn't need an au pair for a long time. Originally, I wanted to go to Madrid, but I got contacted by a family who lived in Palma de Mallorca, um, an island of Spain, and everything was perfect. They had two kids, one was eight, one was 12, which was great for me because I didn't want to work with young kids. I didn't really want to be a, like a babysitter. I wanted to really do more teaching than actual like babysitting and caring for the kids so i thought that was really perfect and then they started telling me about all the activities you could do in palma and how it was beautiful and and how they had like a, a very big foreign community so i could have the opportunity to meet people from all over the world because palma is actually like a touristy destination which is great. It gave me the opportunity to really meet a lot of cool people. They really sold the idea to me and everything that they said they wanted and the type of family that they were was what I was looking for. I was like, okay, this is perfect. It's not in the position or like in the location that I originally wanted, but everything else is great, you know, and I can get the opportunity to explore a part of Spain that I've never been before because yeah, I've never been to that island. I've been to Madrid before. Um, that's kind of how the steps are. So first you identify them on the website, you talk, send messages back and forth. And then second, if you pass the initial stage, you set a Skype conversation. So that's what we did. And I was able to speak to both of the kids, the mom and the dad, get a chance to learn about their uh, personalities. And it was great. You know, I felt like I had a connection. I thought the son was really hilarious. I thought the daughter reminded me of myself. She was like really calm and uh, thoughtful and she seemed really smart. So yeah, we had a really good conversation. They talked, we talked very clearly and honestly about what we were looking for, you know, what I was looking for in a potential family and what they were looking for in, in an old pair. I told them, hey, you know, give me a few weeks, I'll get back to you with an answer. I talked to a few other families, had a few other conversations, but I didn't really have the same connection with them as I did with this original family. So, you know, a few weeks went by and I messaged them and I said, hey, you know, I really enjoyed our conversation and I think we're gonna be a great fit. I wanna to commit to that. Yeah, everything worked out. Basically, that's the experience that I, I had finding a family in Spain. It's, it's very, very simple to do. Au Pair World really took care of most of the initial work of finding a family. A lot of people do decide to go through an agency, but I didn't think that it was something I needed to do. I didn't really need that, uh, that support or that comfort from that an agency will provide. But yeah, I think a piece of advice I can give you is to, you know, really sit down and think about what you want in a family and you don't have to compromise on that. Honestly, on this website, there, there were so many different options that I had to choose from. There was a lot of people who were looking for 
an au pair, you know, especially in certain, I know certain countries like there's a bigger need or a bigger demand than in others. But in Spain in particular, there is a huge demand, specifically in the summer months where the kids are out of school and they need a caretaker. And also make sure you have that conversation on Skype with the family because it really does ease your mind and make you feel more comfortable. And another thing, make sure that you clarify exactly when you're going to get paid and how much you're going to get paid. That was the only thing that I had some confusion about when I stayed with my family. I guess she was under the, the idea that she would pay me only once at the very end of my time that I spent in Spain. So instead of paying me weekly $60, she would just do 60 times four and then pay me all of that on my last day there. But I was under the impression that I would get paid weekly because that's what I had read online and that's how it, the process was for most of the other au pairs I had watched videos about. But never assume, ask them, how often am I gonna be getting paid? Even ask them on what days I'm gonna get paid and exactly how much are you going to pay? And definitely uh, figure out what kind of experience you wanna have in terms of, uh, I guess, the level of work and commitment that you're gonna to have to put forth. Um, if you wanna have more of a laid back experience, I advise you to choose to work with older kids. Um, that's what I did and I really feel like it was more of a relaxed experience because they could take care of themselves. And another thing, really be aware about uh, how many kids that you are willing to work with. There were some families who reached out to me and wanted me to be an au pair for them, but it was like three, four, five kids. And I was like, no, I'm definitely not willing to you know, work with that many children. Um, I had two and even that was a little difficult sometimes because they would like fight, I'd have to break up arguments and all that, but you know, that's what siblings do, but that did add an extra layer of stress. But at the same time, I do think having two kids instead of one makes the job a little bit easier because you don't have to spend as much time trying to uh, like entertain the kids because they can entertain one another. And I think one thing that will make your life easier is if you think about and have an idea of different activities that work with the age group of the kids that you are, you know you're gonna be working with. Sometimes I would just not know what to do and they would be looking at me like, Gabby, like we're bored, what can we do? And I would have to like think about something on the fly or like uh, look on the internet and it would have been really easy if I would have already had um, activities pre-arranged. But yeah, I, Try to answer everything. There's probably some things that I left out. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I wanna do a video just talking about my experience as an au pair in general. So this video was more about the steps I had to take to become an au pair and the next video is gonna be about, okay, this was my experience as an au pair. So please stay tuned for that and if you are trying to be an au pair in the coming months, good luck with everything and I will talk to you guys later.